Hello Battlecats players, my name is Chance and welcome to my guide. Today we have a kinda sorta interesting cat in store for us. Not really interesting in terms of the cat itself, but interesting in terms of the fact that I doubt very many of you are even aware of this cat's existence. Today we're going to be talking about Mako Cat. This special cat used to be available through a serial code that was found in the Nyko Ecology Report. However, since Battle Cats stopped having the serial code feature, this cat is now considered to be unobtainable. The only real caveat to that is if you are playing on the Nintendo Switch and you beat Kyoto 10 times with cat in the lineup, you will unlock this cat that way. So I guess this video is kind of aimed at those Switch players or people who are just kind of curious about cats that they don't know about, I guess. In any case, as always, it is my hope that throughout this video exploring really all there is to know about Mako Cat, you can make a more informed decision on not only how to use them, but how far to invest into them, if at all. First up, let's start with the evolutionary line. Starting with Mako Cat itself, its description reads, A sweet rookie entertainer, allergic to green tea, better at guitar than Shameson. Then at level 10, it will evolve into Geisha Cat, whose description reads, Years of life in the floating world made her a cool cynic. Her distant attitude benefits her long-distance attack power. Now, if you're not super familiar, we covered another, like, technically unobtainable cat called Mask Cat not too long ago. And I want to say that Mask Cat and Mako Cat are kind of two sides of the same coin. They're very, very similar. And in fact, a lot of these serial code cats are pretty dang close to one another. By that, what I mean is a lot of them only have two forms, a lot of them are considered to be special cats, and a lot of them really aren't that useful. With that being said, though, let's actually take a look at Mako Cat's overall performance, and you can kind of see what I mean. When in the evolved form, Mako Cat is considered to be a meat shield. Meat shields, of course, being units with low cost, minimal recharge time, or ideally have the survive trait in high health. And then when you evolve them at level 10 into Geisha Cat, it becomes a mid-ranger, that just being a unit with a range of 250 to 399. As far as pros go, cheap will in the normal form, long range will in the evolved form, and short recharge time for both. And cons consist of low health and attack power, and single target. Needless to say, for a meat shield, who cares, right? At this point, it's going to take one hit and die, but it's still going to take a hit. The real detriment comes from the evolved form. A long-range, low-attack power cat doesn't really make sense, especially when you factor in the fact it has no special traits to rely on. In any case, let's watch some gameplay, and I'll talk about some strategy in these in-use cases for this cat. Firstly, let's just touch on cost. In the normal form, in Chapter 1, it'll cost 500 won, Chapter 2, 750, and Chapter 3, 100. However, in the evolved form, it goes up to 600 won for Chapter 1, 900 won for Chapter 2, and 1200 for Chapter 3. So, not a very cheap unit at its evolved form, and its stats are pretty damn pathetic, so just not great overall. As far as use cases go, there is an argument to be made that its normal form is functionally identical to cat. By that what I mean is, it's like a cheap meat shield that you can send out to essentially just eat a blow and then watch it die. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, if anything, on 4 star stages, this is actually a pretty viable strategy. As most units are gonna be one shot anyways, it doesn't make sense to invest into expensive meat shields when there are cheaper ones that are functionally gonna do the same. That's actually part of the reason why Cat, in my opinion, is an S tier unit. The evolved form, however, is kind of a different story. Its stats are complete garbage, and there are plenty of better alternatives, especially uh, Salon Cat is kind of the one that comes to mind for me, but there are others. So there's really never going to be a use case for this cat that there won't just be a better cat for. Even Gross Cat would probably be a better cat in virtually every way, and you get that one essentially for free, so, like, there's not really ever going to be a point where you're going to be using Geisha Cat. You might be able to make an argument on, like, the few stages before you unlock Gross Cat, maybe, but the odds of you wanting to sink your XP into this unit is almost zero, so you wouldn't be able to get in the Geisha Cat anyways. 
I don't know, it's just, it's just a very weird unit to justify. I, I don't see any real use cases for this. Maybe if you're like doing a serial cat only challenge run, then maybe, I guess, but that's definitely not most players, and I think that would be a living hell anyways, because so many of them are garbage. Now, seeing as how there are no cat combos for this cat, and there's no trivia to go off of either, and you don't need any cat fruit or anything, there's nothing else to really talk about, unfortunately, but I gotta flash these stat screens anyways, so yeah. I guess as like a quick aside and update, we hit over 700 subscribers, which is kind of dang cool actually. It's actually really, really reassuring. It's just nice to know that, you know, effort kind of pays off sometimes. And it's definitely a pretty substantial milestone. We're also getting quite a bit of watch time recently as well, which is quite nice. And the full format breakdowns are getting a little bit more attention now than they used to. So the channel's actually going in a really good direction lately. That being said, there's still a lot more work that needs to be done. And, you know, it's a very time-consuming and energy-intensive endeavor. So I definitely appreciate everyone who's been along with me this far. And, of course, everyone who joins in the future. Thank you as well. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really urge you to do so. We are going to be covering every cat, every unit, and every stage in the game. So, really a full kind of Battle Cats breakdown channel at the end of the day. And your input would always be greatly appreciated. And that about sums up really all there is to know about Mako Cat. There's not a ton of information out there, and it's not a very complicated unit. Nor is it a very good unit, which is kind of unfortunate, you know? Like, I feel like the serial code cats should be unique just because of the way they're obtained usually through like third parties but it just seems like for whatever reason ponos hasn't really put very much time or energy into them some of them i guess have kind of cool designs but they're just not very useful i wonder if that's perhaps when they were released but i don't know it's just i don't really get it personally Granted, the majority of cats in this games are kind of reskins in one way or another, so I mean, like, I guess harshing on Ponos for a lack of creativity in this one area doesn't really make a ton of sense, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down beneath in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching until this point. I certainly appreciate it. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns in general, just feel free to list them down there as well, and either I myself or one of the other subscribers will get around to them. In any case, be sure to like and subscribe because Cat God demands it, and as always, I'll be talking to you guys soon.